All right, you two, we're in round four of the challenge. I lost to Serum Powder Eldrazi last round. So hopefully we can turn it around. We're on the play. My opponent's got the 61 card special. I'm just going to get Watery Grave. And I probably should get Blood Crypt, actually. Yeah, I'm going to get Blood Crypt just in case we're playing against Burn so that we can loot next turn. And then we can fetch a basic of our choice here. It's pretty marginal. Like it's probably just going to be Watery Grave. Oh, we're playing against Elves. Gross. I kind of just want to take their one drop play so that I can afford to go like Faithless Looting into Threat next turn and still feel good about it. Even though like I would like to hit both of these Devoted Druids. But I think I'm just going to take this Boreal Druid and then figure it out later. All right, we'll find Gurmag Angler. Fatal Push is good as well. Mm, no way now. I want to keep all these cards. Like, all these cards are pretty good. I want to get rid of Snapcaster Mage. So, this checks this. I could just get rid of Thought Scour, because Thought Scour and Street Wraith are basically really similar cards at the moment. I think I'm gonna cut. I think I'm gonna get rid of Thought Scour because this kills one, this kills one, this picks up something else. This is Cantrip, but I'm taking a lot of damage. It might just be too much damage if I don't find a Death Shadow. Well, this Snapcaster Mage is like. Decent, but I need to find a threat, which makes me want to keep at least two of these. At least one of these two. There's a chance I should just take this Thought Seize. Like, I can go... Like, I think I just want to dis actually get rid of this Dismember. Push a creature. Discard spell a creature. Dig to a Shadow. Yes, but I need a land for that to happen. That's just not guaranteed to happen. I don't think Snapcaster Mage is really going to, like, take me home here. I'm going to cut. I'm going to get rid of Snapcaster, and I'm going to get rid of Thoughtseize. I have to find a threat. I need to... All right, that's not a threat. <clears throat> I, well, I need to find a threat. Like, that's the number one thing that has to happen here. I'm just going to go get Watery Grave because, like, it's not like I'm likely not going to race my opponent. All right. This might have been stupid. I probably should have gone push discard spell. Save that for next turn. Oh, now we'll just take lightning bolts. I will push this. Snapcaster Street Wraith are threats. Heritage Druid. Okay. Oh, man. Now we're going to get blown out. Yeah, I should have discard spelled last turn. <sighs> Cause now they tap. Yeah, I should. I definitely should have. Cause like I'm guaranteed to kill that stupid devoted druid anyways. I should have gone discard spell and saved my sleight of hand.
Can I just choke my opponent's mana? Bolt this, dismember this. I take three, go to seven. Opponent cracks me for four. Oh, there's a lot going on, but I think that's probably what I've got to do. No, I could just get this. I'm just going to kill both of these. Just try to keep my life total. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I could pay five life, go to five. Dismember, discard, bolt. Uh. What am I going to hit off this Inquisition? I could hit a Lord. I'm, I'm just so unsure of myself. I think I'm going to go Inquisition, bolt this, dismember this, and then go to five. Cuts off their mana. And gives me two turns. I should have done this before I did this. This was stupid. This is bad sequencing. I should have discard spelled first. Uh, we'll just get an island. The island is... Guess we can't get the island. Yeah, this is just poor sequencing. Like I should have done this first. Okay, take this to Zuri. Bolt this. Yeah, I'm just going to bolt this member. It's, I, guess it's, I guess I lose a turn on the clock if I dismember now, but if my opponent finds another spell, they can cast it. Basically, how, like, if I just leave it in play, I go from three to six, three, six, nine, but they're going to add potentially two spells. They can double spell next turn, maybe. I basically need the top of my card to be Death Shadow. The top of my deck to be Death Shadow. The next card to be Battle Rage. So the best way to do that is to make it so my opponent only plays one spell so that I can block it. And I get two draw steps at it. So we're just going to dismember this. Didn't I draw the Wraith? I thought I drew the Wraith. If I did not, it's not good. We got to, this is this is something that I was afraid of because now they get to double spell. All right, top of my deck, Death Shadow. Top of my deck, Death Shadow. Nope. 
All right. <clears throat> so now we know what's going on. My opponent's got white in their deck, so they likely have rest in peace after sideboard. But this is a maybe. This is a maybe. This is a slam dunk. These are coming in. This is coming in. This is coming in. This is coming in. I don't think rise is good enough. So that likely won't matter there. So we're going to cut some number of these. Um, we're going to shave on like at least an angler. I'm going to cut the looting because my deck's focused. They have collected company. Uh, Terminate just kills Kalidas and things to Welding Jar. My opponent's not really messing with my life total, though. I'll shave one. Your deck is focus, and if you are cutting anglers, since you are scared of rip, I'm confused what you're saying. Ss, S. 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 Nielsen. I'm cutting anglers because like anglers not that great in this matchup because it just gets brick walled. No, I think Jason. Uh, Jay, this is just a removal. This is like Snapcaster number four. In my opinion. S. Nielsen. Dude, way to go, Inferno. We're down. We're down again. So hopefully your your good mojo can help us out here. Nope. Okay, tank's pretty good. Opponent Mulligan as well. There's our boy. So I'm just going to go water grave pass. Probably end up pushing something. Um, if my opponent doesn't give me anything to push, I'll cycle my street wraith and then thought scour myself. Oh. Uh, yield until next time. That's nice for our opponent to focus up there. Well, we, we mailed a Liliana, which kind of hurts, but now we're just going to pass. Yes, they could have passed. Yes, Lava Man would be very good here if we had it. I think I'm just going to kill this. Like we're just on the use our mana kill things plan. Um, should save my terminate, I guess. Yeah, I probably should save my terminate. Because it can kill Archdruid all the time. We're not mana efficient, but it's a nice draw. Very nice draw. So let's wait on this fetch land just for a second. This like should have gone to regionals, like, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I'll oh, fairground warden. Okay. Elvis Archdruid, Fairgrounds Warden. I kinda just want to take this Fairgrounds Warden. Because the Fairgrounds Warden's going to trade one of my cards next turn. And I would like to just keep this Warden 
it, it, like so it doesn't remove my shadow from the battlefield so I can start attacking. So I'm just going to take the war because, like, <laughs> excuse me. So basically, like, each one of these cards here requires a removal spell. And by taking this one, it means I can keep attacking. So we're just going to go this. Um, I think I'm going to get a water here. I could get a steam vents. I don't have that many red spells in my deck. Like, I'm not going to be double red spelling at all. So I'm just going to get a water grave. So I'm going to get punished, I guess, if I draw like a bolt. Okay, so that's what I drew for turn. Take a look. Probably just gonna terminate this. I don't I could trade it with my shadow. They have another druid coming. Jeez. Yeah, I can't let them get the mana. The one mana bear, yeah. Above the curve. Okay. Brutality is just something, like, we just need Doom Blades. So my opponent's got Archdruid, Dwayne, and Elite left. Okay. So is it better for me to go Snap Terminate to be mana efficient and then get another creature on the board? I don't really want to use two of my four mana. Yeah, Drain Two Life. Like I kind of just want to go Snap, Terminate, Go. Which I think I'm going to do. I think it does when I have a two mana spell in my, like, because this Snapcaster is at least a three drop. <clears throat> and if I draw something else next turn, you know. Okay. Jeez. So unfortunately, I cannot go, yeah, I just have to go like, I can't kill this, um, I can't kill this Devoted Druid with the Snapcaster Mage, and they're going to get a counter off this Dwayne's Elite, which is kind of annoying, so then I can snap and get it out of the way. I'm just going to collect a Brutality this, and then just serve, if they want to trade here, like whatever. My best draw would be like a Street Wraith. Okay. Yeah, you get your going to late. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Bolt this and attack. My opponent wants to trade. They can trade. Like, we're going to flash in another Snapcaster Mage, and we're just going to, like, two, try to 2-1 beat him out of the game, I think. Now, that's probably loose. It's probably loose on my part. Yeah, this was stupid. This was stupid. Because they're going to draw more threats. Yeah, that was stupid. That was so stupid. That was so bad. That was so bad.
Yeah, I could have bolted myself. Yeah, that was so bad. I played I played that turn so poorly. I just played all that. I just did that whole turn sequence really bad. Don't have a company. I will walk into it. Okay. Yeah, it was just not it was not good. It was not a good turn for the home team. And I should have thought seized again after combat. Oh, I gotta like recenter myself here. Good draw. Those are not. Um, I don't think I'm trading. Yeah, I have to like recenter because I, I just played that really poorly. Just make sure I don't continue to do it poorly. Okay, it's a good draw for our opponent. Yes, I have snowballed. Well, now I'm going to attack because if they just trade, then I can push this. Um, Shankas, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, this has all been pretty poor for me. Right. We have three shadows left in the deck. That was just so bad to do that. It was so poor because of this rest in peace, especially because now we have three dead draws of Gurmag Anglers. Not good. Yep. Yep. And I mean, we deserve this. We 100% deserve this. Creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample until the end of the turn. So five mana overrun. They attack with both. I get a free block, and the shadow grows. We're trying to fix. We're on the edge of. We're trying to just pull back here. I don't think I have to because like they just attack with one. I just let it happen, and then they're in the abyss. They just die once they draw another creature. Yeah, I think we just play it. Play it and go. Yeah, it can't regenerate itself. All right, I'm going to untap because there's a chance that I just get to go push this and then put this thing in the abyss because it can't regenerate itself. What does Thought Seizing do? I'm going to have to put my deal two damage to myself anyways. So I might as well Thought Season play this tap, I think. I don't think there's any reason not to. Like, what? I mean, I guess this Thought Season, it's just more of, like, knowing. Because, like, what I should do, if they have a path, they have anything that's going to blow me out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this thing. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Push this. They regenerate. It's tapped. And they block here. The thing is, like, it might, it might, I can't beat the Coco, right, SS Nielsen? Like, they're going to untap with, like, I should just play like it's not there, right? Where's the thoughts he's, like, because, like, if they collect a company into two spells, I'm just going to die. 
I guess I might be able to use my fatal push somewhere else. So yeah, that makes sense. I guess it's like also like why not? That that makes sense. That makes sense. And now we just push this. Yeah, see, I'm just I didn't even think of that. Push this. They regen it. Then we crack them for five. Okay. So now I have to play a shock land to make it so that the plus five plus five plus this doesn't get over me. And we crack in here for seven. Yeah. Now my opponent has to block this shadow for the rest of the game. And I need to not time out also. All right. All right. We were fortunate to get out of that. That thought season was also probably loose because, like, ugh. all right. I don't think my sideboarding changes. Play draw. Does the extra... We didn't see a collected company in that whole game, and we didn't see one milled, so I, don't, I just don't think they have collected company in their deck. Like, they, have, we saw Path... We saw Path and Rest in Peace. I don't think they're on for Rip for Coco though. Like I, I thought scoured them and I didn't see a company and I saw Path and Rest in Peace. So like how many companies do they have? You know? Yeah, that's how that one worked. Like, how crazy is it though? Like, how does a deck with whatever 20 they have 20 lands? They've got Somewhere between six and eight white spells. Because they 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 mess they mess with their uh company hits. I probably should get rid of another Gurmag. We're we're two in uh we're two and one going into the last game for another stub. But like I didn't see one that entire game. I haven't seen one in the first game. Like I mean it's it's like very low, but that game went 15 turns, and I thought scoured them, and I did not see a company. No, looting's looting's just not good once your deck's focused. All right, this hand's this hand's pretty solid. They mulligan. Hundred and forty viewers, you guys are all great. Appreciate y'all for showing up and hanging out. Watching me try to fumble through this. I mean, I just made a mistake last game, and then it just, like, compounded, and I have to just not do that. This is likely a Blood Crypt, Blood Crypt push on turn one, I would have to assume. And we have to hope that our shadows get us out of this. They kept. They put a card on the bottom. Okay. 
Okay. That's a hole. Okay. I still don't think I'm going to dismember that because I can still only, I can't even play a shadow if I don't see another fetch land. And I can dismember a Azuri or an Archdruid. Like I'm going to be able to do this eventually. And I'm going to feel kind of dumb if we uh, if we draw a fetch land next turn. But if we draw a fetch land next turn, I can just go dismember into shadow. Well, now I think I just dismember, play a shadow, and just, like, try to kill my opponent. Yeah, I'm just gonna... We're just... We're going right for the throat. And then next turn we play Shadow, Jace, and then the turn after that we get to um, snap back the dismember. Ooh, baby. I think it's... Yeah, I think I could Thought Scout to try to farm more damage, but I think it's just fine to... Just crack them for three. <clears throat> Our opponent mulliganed. Our opponent dead. Fourteen, six plus eight is fourteen. So we find a fetch land. We're just going to target this right now. Give me land. All right, well, now I'm just going to play... Now I'm just going to play another, whatever, play another Death Shadow. I guess I could not. Like, what if they play, like, Engineered Explosives? I'm going to just hold this shadow. They could play, like, Engineered Explosives. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Like, we can Snapcast or Removal Spell a Blocker. Okay. Whew. Yeah, there's a bolt in the yard too. So like, whatever. I just got flustered toward the end of that game. I just played like dog shit.